So g'day and welcome back to Gumati's Coins and Make Notes. Yay! And today we have some coins in front of me. Can you guess what they are? Yes? No? Okay, so if you don't read Arabic uh, and you don't know what these symbols are, you're going to be struggling to find these on the internet. But these are coins from Libya. And they're not just any coins, they're issued by the Republic of Libya, uh, starting in 1975. So, these were issued under Muhammad Gaddafi. And if you don't know who he is, well, he was put in a coffin in 2011, when uh, the final edges of the Civil War, and he pretty much turned into a coward. So... Uh, let's talk about coins instead of that. So there are two issues issued by the Islamic Republic. <laughs> Sorry, it's not. They were never called an Islamic Republic. That's Iran and Saudi Arabia. Okay, so this is issued by the Federation of Arab Republics. Now was a federation that contained Egypt and Syria, although... Libya dropped out, uh, so it was yeah, 1976, so were the first country to drop out, and it was formed in 1971, and each of these countries, they still had their own currency, they never had a unified currency, but they did issue their coins with the same coat of arms, which just has the eagle uh, with a shield with nothing on it, and I think the last country who dropped this shield was Egypt in 1984. And down below it just says United Arab Republic. And it says 100 dirhams. Uh, if you know Egyptian currency, they had the one pound of 100 piastres or 100 kush. And, well, Syria also had the same system. One pound was 100 piastres or 100 kush. But... The Egyptian one was adopted under the British. The Syrian one was adopted under the French. And this one, well, it was adopted after independence from Italy. So we've got two issues. There is the high-minted one, 1975. And there's a 1979. So this one has a... It's described as an armed equestrian. But it's probably just a Bedouin or an Arab with a rifle on a horse. So more like a, just a local or a militia. And it says, People, Socialist, Libyan, Arab, this is, says Germ, Huria, but we just classified as Republic. It's 1979 or 1399 in the Muslim calendar. So the 1979 is the solar calendar. 1399 is a lunar calendar. So totally different systems. And on the reverse, so the reverse has the denominations and it just has patterns around it. So these look like the type of patterns you'll find on mosques, minarets and mausoleums. Typical Islamic architecture. Uh, some Islamic architecture allows for humans to be depicted. Some do not. Uh, but it's very interesting. Okay, so. I have uh, most of the denominations of both. I've only got one five dirhams. And that's from the second issue. So that's the scarcest set to get. And there is a caveat. Uh, the 1979... Uh, I think this debate over the mintages, uh, the ones on Numus do seem to be a bit low, so there might be mintages of these coins uh, that have not been uploaded or probably not been shared by whoever minted these coins. I think uh, that was the English mint. So 1979, they would have been minted from 1979 to 2009, so that's 30 years. So I, under my understanding is that these are probably a frozen year issue 
this year though, 30 years, so the mintage should be a lot higher. So, uh, if you look at the mintage figures, so here we have the 1979, here we have the 1975, so 41 Durham, you've got 20 million versus 1 million, 45 Durham, 23 million versus 2 million, the 10 Durham, 52.75 million versus 4 million, so that's not even, these are not even 10% of this mintage. Uh, the 20 dirhams, 25.5 million versus 6 million. Yeah. That is a bit over the 20%. Then 50 dirhams, 25.6 million versus 9.12 million. So this is a more common denomination. Then we have the 100 dirham. We have 15.4 million versus 15 million. So obviously the 100 was a more common denomination than like the 1, 5 and 10. And the 20 dirhams, so obviously they didn't buy anything. So the quarter was first issued in 2001. And the half dirham dinner, should I say. It was first issued in 2004, and they don't have any mintage figures. So for the exchange rate, uh, we need to take it to account inflation. So 1971, I would gather that that's probably equivalent to about, I would say $35 now. 86, probably equivalent, uh, probably not even 28, I would say $20. 2001, yeah, probably equivalent to $4. These are just guessed. If you want to look up the inflation rate, you can. Uh, and, well, 2024. So, but without inflation, you can see that one dinner went from $3.30 US dollars to 20 cents. So that's a massive devaluation. Although it's not as bad as some other countries like Zia. Uh, Algeria, their currency, who border Libya, decreased a lot more than that. Same as Egypt. And the closest country that had a massive devaluation of their currency uh, is a fair way away. And that's Nigeria down south. They went from, uh, I think, about $4.80 or Two dollars forty for one naira in nineteen seventy three. To well, the naira is probably worth point one of a cent. So you need a thousand naira equals one US dollar compared to it being I don't know probably twenty thirty cobo. So that's a massive devaluation. Anyway, let's look at the coins. So. Here we have the coins that were issued under the kingdom. And they have the coat of arms. And the first thing you'll notice is that the 5 millimeters, which became the 5 dirham, they changed the size. And these ones are actually plated steel. So the 1, 5, 10, 20 are plated steel. These ones are copper and nickel. This one's brass. And the rest of them are copper and nickel. And you'll notice is that the 10 is the same, the 1 is the same size, the 20 is the same size, and the design is also quite similar. This went from uh, plants going around, English 20 millimeters, to a type of Islamic architecture going around with our wheat down below. The 50 the same. The 100, they reduced in size a little bit. The 50, they increased the number of scallops on the actual coin. Uh, can't remember how many scallops, but that's what they've done. So it looks like they reduced it by, increased it by about 4. The 20, yeah, they kept it. Same, and it also has uh, no reading. The 10 kept it the same, and they kept reading. 
E1, you keep it the same. Do the change of form, unreaded to a readed coin. And E5, obviously they change the design also. Obviously you don't have reading on Skull coins. I've never seen a country to issue Skull coins of reading. Okay, so that's the differences that changed from 1965 to 1975. So obviously the dinner was issued first in 1975. Uh, 1971 the banknotes are first issued. Uh, but it took them four years to issue the coins. Uh, because Libya only issues coins once every 10 to 20 years. Okay, so if we look at the back. Oh, that's the wrong coin. That's also the wrong coin. So if you don't look at it too well. And get them confused. So, as you can see, all these are pretty much pretty much the same design. So then we have the quarter dinner, which is this coin. It has the denomination on this side. So this is the two thousand one. In 2004, they issued the half dinner. At the time, this, what was the value of this one? Uh, this coin was about, worth about 35 cents. And this coin would have been worth probably about 15 cents, something, something like that, equivalent. So obviously, they issued these two coins because the value of the currency uh, decreased and this one is one two three four five no one two three four, yeah five, ten sided and as you can see they have milling on these not all of them and the half is totally milled so all these have been demonetized and well basically what would you be paying for any of these coin sets so the equestrian coin set uh, I would say you're probably paying at least 30 to 40 dollars for this coin set because the mintage is actually a lot lower uh, these ones yeah I'd say probably probably about 20 because they don't come with the high denominations uh, and also the minty figures for these are actually higher. But Libyan coins are not too easy to get in Australia. Probably a lot easier to get to, in Europe. Uh, where? Especially in Italy. You have a lot of people transit through Libya from other parts of Africa. Especially down south. And some of those would actually bring coins. But, as you know, or you should know, being a coin collector, you probably don't know too many people that collect coins as part of their hobby. If you do, obviously you've cultured that. But if you just have general friends, majority of them will not be interested in coins. And same with these immigrants. They might bring coins, but they're not interested in them. So... I'll probably get rid of them, sell them, give them away. Oh, I like you. I'll give you coins. That's how I've got a lot of my coins. Either buying them or getting them off people. Because, you know, again, people just go, Oh, you like coins. I've got this coin. You like it? You, know, you can have it. Or I'll just give them a little bit of money. Because most of them are not really worth that much. So anyway, I hope this helps you with your coin collecting. Let me know what you think about these coins. I think they're great. And the next issue they have is 2009. But in current coins of for 50, 100, quarter dinner, and half dinner. And they also have one dinner coins. We're issued uh, from... 2014 onwards 
and replace these coins. So, anyway, thank you very much. Have awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.